Hey, what's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. Just a quick intro on a quick DIY video today. A 45 to 50 minute install, I believe. We'll put the timer on it and see how long it takes. But it's a project I've been trying to get done for two or three weeks. And then I pull a 22 foot car hauler. Um, if you pull a trailer of any kind and you have a battery connected to a winch on that trailer, you know what it's like to maintain the tender on the battery, replacing the battery. So what I'm gonna do today on the, F2, on the F250, our 2020 here, AKA the beast is I'm going to install a um, cable that has a quick connect disconnect at the back of the truck. And then when I'm, when I'm towing with the trailer and I need to winch anything up, I just plug the quick connect into the back of the bumper. I'll show you where I'm going to install that at. And then when I'm done, I take it all, put it back in the trailer box and I'm done. Don't have to worry about batteries. Don't have to worry about tendering. You don't have to worry about anything. So you just have to worry about getting that install correct. But, uh, I got everything set up. Let me show you the tools that you're gonna need. At the end of the video, I will give you an optional tool list as well, if you depend on how you want to install the connector itself. I'll talk about that when I'm done. But let's get to it and see how long it takes to do this install. All right, this is what you're gonna need. Coffee. Very first thing, always grab coffee. You're gonna need a heat gun. You're gonna need some zip ties. The splice kit, um, I, I believe you need this. This is what I'm gonna use. You may find a different way to connect it. This is from the winch to the secondary connector that you're gonna use um, for the truck. Plug in your winch into the truck. You're gonna need heavy duty uh, crimpers. I'll put the link in for that. This uh, is a kit that I picked up from Pole Pal USA. I think I bought it off of Amazon. Um, I'll post a link to that as well. So what comes in that kit? is the uh, battery cable wire itself. I picked up the kit that's a 34 foot cable. I made another video, I'll post it in after this. And I'll show you how far it stretches past the truck. So you have more than enough uh, power wire um, and ground wire to do the connection from the winch to the back of the truck and from the truck all the way to your battery. But the kit comes with all the terminals, all the connectors, the dust covers. It comes with um, all of the heat shrink that you need. The only thing that you're going to have to pick up if you don't have it is a crimper that'll crimp. Um, what is this? Two gauge wire? I believe it's two gauge or two gauge or four gauge. I'll check. And you're going to need cutters. Other than that, that's all you need outside the vehicle that you're going to be installing it. I'll put a list, a description, a parts list in the description as well, just so you have it but it should be a pretty easy mod. So let's knock it out and come back and show you how we ran. All right, this is coming up through underneath the truck. Just positive and negative battery connections. And it just follows it all the way down to the connecting, just zip ties to the wiring harness that you already have. Again, so you don't have to worry about any pinch points or where you're actually gonna run this thing through. But uh, easy DIY mod for you if you have a winch or some sort of power source that you're running on the back of a trailer or your truck makes it makes it super efficient without needing a um, additional battery all right guys <clears throat> show you a under view of the wiring the only thing i recommend is follow the wiring harness as much as you can that's already running along the frame of your truck makes it a lot easier you know there's not going to be any pinch points and then you just snake it back all the way to the rear. I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. But take the time to do it right. And again, follow it all the way as best you can to the wiring harness that's already under your, under your truck or running along the frame rail of your truck. It makes it a lot easier, makes it a lot cleaner. You don't have to worry about pinch points. But this is what it's like underneath the truck. One of the decisions you're going to have to make when you come to the rear of the truck install is how are you going to install the connector? It comes pre-drilled with two holes that you can either use a self-tapping screw, a sheet metal screw, or a nut and bolt. Um, if you either drill through your frame um, or if you have a piece of plastic back there, you, you drill through that plastic, whatever you have available to you. But there are a couple of different options, some that I don't recommend and some that I do recommend. So if you're just pressed for time and you don't have all the materials that you really need, you know, you could use double-sided tape. There's a flat surface on the back of the connector. Clean the, the surface area. 
Uh, you can take double-sided tape and you can use that to secure the connector to the to your tow hitch or to your frame or to, to some other part that you're working off of. You can use zip ties, you can use Velcro strips. Um, I would even imagine you could use some type of Gorilla Glue. Um, however, all those are not recommended. And I, I've seen some uh, folks actually use those. However, I would say I, I wouldn't recommend those. I use self-tapping screws on mine. I just drilled through my frame. I forget what size they were. Um, you can use different, different sizes. But just, you can use, uh, I would recommend using a self-tapping frame screw, a sheet metal screw, a uh, low torque. Um, you can even, you even have space depending on where you're at. Um, mounting this thing, you can use a nut and a bolt. Um, I did not have any nuts and bolts uh, with me today at the house. So I just used the uh, self-tapping screws. Tomorrow I will most likely replace those and I will go with a carriage bolt or some type of nut and bolt uh, to put back in and secure it. Um, I don't think it, I, one, I think it's a better secure for what I'm using the truck for, but those are what I would, what I would recommend and what I would not recommend using. Guys, how about a little bonus footage here? Getting a little ahead of ourselves for the second part of this video. So the first part we're done, I showed you the wiring, uh, how, how it routes through the truck. It took about 54 minutes. And the reason it took 54 minutes is my shin hit this tow hitch right here. And that's where that coffee comes into play because it really you know, kind of calms your nerves. Um, I'll just say that was pretty painful. But all you do with this setup is you you take the dust cover off, take your connection, you're live now when your truck's running, and I have eight feet of cable remaining. And I've already made up the ends here. So when I go to the shop tomorrow, I'm just gonna connect the winch, a power positive or negative positive. And then when I need to use it, I have my truck, I just power my truck on and winch up anything that I need to winch up. And then when I'm done, I take this piece, put it into the box on the, on the winch, put my dust cover back on and I'm done. I don't have to worry about a battery. I don't have to worry about tendering a battery. I don't have to worry about any of that. I think there's very few mods out there that are must haves, but I'm gonna tell you, um, this is probably one of the must have mods that you, that you should, you should take a look at. So I appreciate you guys watching. Hope you had a great weekend. If you have any comments, drop them below. If you have something similar or something completely different, hey, drop that down below. If you have a video on it, drop the link. Be more than glad to take a look at it and see maybe there's something we can do better here. Or maybe there's, um, you know, maybe this is a, a pretty good mod that you guys like. Appreciate you guys watching.